Oh, hey, everybody, it's Sir Stillwater. Hey, in this video, I want to go ahead and talk about one of the great buildings, uh, the observatory, and talk about where the benefit of the observatory is for your guild and why you want to have one, even though it doesn't really do anything for you uh, personally, but it does for your guild. So you see I have an observatory built here. Uh, it's a standard uh, uh, three by three. Uh, let's see. Let's see what era it is. I'll show you a little bit of info on it. I'll go at the end here. I'll view my observatory. Yeah, it's a it's it fits as a three by three, I believe, on the map. It takes nine blueprints like everything else. And basically, the the observatory gives your guild, uh, your guild treasury, its goods. It produces that default when you first get it out of level zero. So level zero doesn't pay anything uh, daily. But if you get to level one, it'll produce three of each current good of your current era for the guild treasury. And it also gains a 10 support pool, for uh, which is passive support, which is part of the guild calculation that's used in uh, GBG or guild versus guild. Um, I don't know if that's used for anything else. I know that really was there from GBG because GBG pre predated uh, guild expedition and there's some other um, guild activities out there now. But back in the old days, um, when GBG first came around, um, this was a big piece of that calculation, but that's a separate topic. But all in all, uh, this is what we have here. Um, it has no age, but I think it has very, very, very minimum requirements to build. It's like 10 of each bronze age or something like that. It's really, really inexpensive uh, goods wise. Uh, but blueprints, um, you upgrade to a regular grade building. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on mine. You see I'm pretty well um, ready to level. I'm at 69 out of 70. And this is a good practice here. They're, uh, my guild my guild mates are leaving that last position for me to go ahead and put on. And that's will give me the ability to do a double dip, which allows me to contribute and immediately uh, harvest its its daily activity, its daily production or whatever it happens to be. And also the clock still runs and then I can go ahead and collect again later when the clock expires for the daily activity. So it would, my ex, next upgrade is gonna take me up here. I'll jump over here to the overview. Currently, it's at three goods every 24 hours. The next one's going to be four goods every 24 hours. So right now, yeah, it's 12 goods every day into the guild treasury as long as I as long as long I collect on it. Uh, tomorrow, obviously, or from this point forward, it will be uh, 20. So it's 20 goods people didn't have to contribute. That's the real value of an observatory. Um, ARCs are kind of in that same, well, that kind of are in that same space. There are some other things as well, some other... Um, things in the game. But all in all, the observatory is a really good tool that everybody, I think, in a guild should have uh, because basically it's just grinding production for the guild treasury for GE or GVG or whatever it happens to be. So I'm going to go ahead and level this now. I'll go ahead and apply my one. My I'm now level two. You see it automatically awarded or rewarded. So I can go and collect that. And there you go, four of each of these goods from early middle age right into, this, right into the guild treasury. So I'm going to go back to also and show you here. We talked about that guild, um, the guild FP swap and just guild members helping guild members. Everybody in this list is a member of the guild. So everybody benefited here. Um, at this current level, we had um, Stonehouse. Uh, she got uh, she got 10 FPs, one blueprint. So she got a blueprint. At this level, unfortunately, it only pays one blueprint at uh, its to its top spot. I think the next one it will show too. Uh, Fierce Beowulf has uh, got got five FPs and nine medals. Um, Cato got five medals and so on. Mr. Steelcraft, thank you. Uh, got two medals and uh, Arlean, Arlean, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, got a medal out of that. And then also we have some other people here in the guild. Oh, no, sorry, it's level three. Scroll down. No, yeah, that was my, that was my contributor list. Um, I like to run this through the two FP group. Um, that way uh, the guild helps contribute. And of course I put in 12 as well, but um, that helps get this up to its um, level quicker. So that's the benefits of having an observatory. Um, I think every, every guild member should have one. They should strive to have them. I dropped a lot of FPs in my friends' networks for some really super high-level high, high level observatories that pay two and three uh, blueprints at a time uh, just so I can accumulate those blueprints quickly so I can get one in the guilds so that people have an opportunity to start capturing those. Um, sometimes you'll see the observatory blueprint showing up in some of the special events, but outside of that, they're they're not that common. Um, so, just something I wanted to highlight is a good opportunity to talk about it, and that's what I got. Uh, what are your thoughts about the observatory in general? Um, I know the 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 other 
reward besides the blueprints doesn't really i mean excuse me besides the goods the uh, what do they call it the uh the bonus let's see the support pool bonus um if you're not doing gvg it doesn't really do too much i believe but really that the ticket is this um and you see the next level is only going to take it up it's not going to take it up in goods at all but it is going to take it up in those in the guild um support pool so i think this is similar to a guild level where it, it staggers or it alternates every other level um this one a bonus then that one a bonus and this one a bonus and that one a bonus so but that's all i've got for here uh, questions comments suggestions please leave them below please subscribe i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to continue uh i start a new series here um highlighting all the different great buildings um, especially the early era of great buildings and kind of what their benefit is or what their what their what their key piece is all about um, there's some good opportunities to displace daily production it's almost like an investment versus cash flow from uh in passive income versus active income essentially in the game really complex game if you think about it but that's a whole that's a whole video in and of itself is the complexity and uh zillion ways you can do things but that said i'm going long here have a great day and see you in the next one uh, please subscribe thanks throw a like too if you like this if you found this interesting um, if you don't know much about observatories let me know down below um that this was helpful or if you have any questions about observatories or any other great buildings go ahead and leave it below or suggestions for future videos um, see you next time. Bye.